Mwah. Good afternoon, everybody. I am just about to make some lunch and I thought we could make it together. I'm actually gonna make a TikTok viral vibe lunch, which you may have seen before, but I saw it recently. I actually saw it on Instagram. I feel like Instagram reels always come after the TikTok trends, like the trends come from TikTok and then they move to Instagram. But yeah, I saw it on Instagram and it looked like a really yummy lunch. So we're gonna do that together. Essentially what it is, is a chopped sandwich and you can actually do anything you want in it. But I am a huge fan of the prepped chicken Caesar baguettes. So I'm gonna try and make my own. So I have cooked my chicken. As you can't really see, it's a bit burning in there. I feel like it would be lovely, but I'll show you when I do that. But I just thought I would say hello. Welcome to a new vlog. I am all over the shop today. <laughs> I'm actually also, I'm not alone. Well, I'm not home alone because Wynn is upstairs sleeping, but I'm alone. <laughs> but like, I just feel like I'm never alone anymore. And to be honest with you, I'm struggling a little bit with it at the moment because obviously I'm with Wynn all day and Niall essentially because we both work from home and the majority of the time we both do work at home. Sometimes I go to London, but usually we are home and I go a lot less now obviously because I want to be with Winnie. I don't know if any of you are like this. Carl is also like this, but I'm one of those people that needs time alone to like recharge myself, even from like my husband. <laughs> So when, obviously I'm with Wynne all day, when she's gone to bed, that's like my time to be with Niall. So I feel like I want to have that time with Niall. I know he really wants that. So I just feel like I have so rarely energy just by myself, but Niall is out for one of his running sessions. Can't think of what it's called. Ch coach, running coach sessions. <laughs> and Wynne is having a nap. So it is literally just me and you, which is so rare. And it's really nice just to be by myself. I just like being by myself fully sometimes <laughs> and it just doesn't happen very much anymore. So yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have that too. And you're one of those people that has to recharge. I just find it so hard at the moment to like balance all different areas of life. Like when I'm not with Win, I feel like I need to be with Niall and have couple time but then also friend time to make sure I'm still keeping up some kind of social life. But then I also know in my heart, I need some time just for me, but also I wanna be with, you know, see family and I just can't juggle it all. And I just feel like yesterday was a bad day for it. When we got back from being away, it was weird actually. I think because of the time difference, it was kind of on our side where we were five hours ahead technically so we were waking up super early here because it would technically in our body clocks be a lot later in the day from what we were used to for 10 days and i loved that i loved that i felt like i'd finally finally i'm not i'm like a, a night owl me and i'll usually don't go to bed till like midnight 1 a.m so i struggle to be like an early bird which i've always wanted to be and since having winnie obviously we've had to much more but even she wasn't like a super early bird baby <laughs> she was getting up at eight now now we get up at seven and i love it because i actually fall asleep struggling to keep my eyes open super heavy eyes feeling at like 9 p.m and i love it <laughs> that's what i was gonna say is when we got back from holiday i had like this energized feeling in me i felt really motivated i felt like i had my shit together which often doesn't happen when you come back from holiday, does it? You just feel a bit of a holiday blue slump trying to sort everything out and get back into the zone of being back. But I actually felt really good. And then yesterday it all came tumbling down. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just, I just feel like I said on my Instagram as well, it was a rough parenting day. And Winnie is at the moment, I feel like developing at a rapid rate. And she has just hit eight months she's just started to crawl which i think she's m happier now it's started like she was so frustrated for ages where she was like rocking like i want to move but she just couldn't but now she is doing a little bit but it is chaos <laughs> because we can't take our eyes off her in case she pulls something down she also really wants to stand up which i think is the thing that makes me a lot more nervous because she keeps like pulling herself up onto things and if they're not strong enough 
you know, it could fall over and hurt her. So it's all a learning curve. But anyway, because of that, I think she's very short fused <laughs> and just not very happy. She's very agitated all the time. And yesterday was just a difficult day where it just felt like, I don't know, I couldn't make her happy. And it was just, I just felt like a terrible mum. There was, I was trying to work out what was wrong all day and nothing seemed to work, which usually would. And I don't know, <laughs> I just felt like I couldn't do anything. I couldn't, I couldn't physically like just do anything. And when I was with her, she wasn't happy either. So it was just one of those days, like at the end of the day, my ears were literally ringing because she'd just been grumbling and grunting and screeching all day and just, I don't know. It's one of them, isn't it? I feel like if any of you guys are mums, it's just what comes with being a parent. Like some days are just really difficult and some days are fine and you feel like you're on top of the world, you got this mum on tour. But I wasn't yesterday. And ended the day feeling like a rubbish mum, a rubbish friend, a rubbish wife rubbish in my job i had no time to do any of the work that i needed to get done i've got quite a lot of deadlines at the moment because we've got lots of really exciting things coming up with my app beyond and i really wanted to get a lot of that done yesterday didn't happen <laughs> sorry i haven't come on here to just moan and run i just i'm just having a little bit of a not sure how to juggle everything moment <laughs> And I'm just trying to remind myself that this is just how it is and some days will feel like this and some days will feel a lot easier. But yeah, anyway, I was meant to pick up my vlog yesterday, but it was not a day. I don't know how anyone films like those really difficult moments because I know a lot of people say like, yes, share the negatives as well as the positives. Although I like my YouTube channel to be a place where you come and it feels a lot more positive and you know i wouldn't particularly want to go and watch <coughs> just negativeness because it would just seep into my day if that makes sense but then i think there's the balance of also at least sharing that it's not all positive because you know we're all normal humans and nobody always lives positively do they and things are tough and for different reasons for everyone but yeah i just i never understand how anyone could film when you're in the thick of it, whatever it may be. I just don't pick up my phone when I'm upset <laughs> to film myself or my camera. How do people do that? Anyway, <laughs> I am gonna make this. There is nothing better than a baguette as well as there. I was thinking this when I got this yesterday, whenever I get a baguette, when I come home, I literally just wanna bite it. It's the only bread that I would have without butter. It's just so biteable. <laughs> I'm so tempted right now, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so this is how we're looking. We've got our lettuce, our little slices of parmesan, some croutons, chicken. I've put a little bit of peri-peri sauce on. I'm just gonna judge the Caesar sauce on top. Essentially, what we do is just literally, <laughs> maybe I should have done the chicken separate, chop-wise, but we wanna chop this up really, really small and make like, not a paste because it is still going to be bumpy but kind of like a mixture all together where it's all really zhuzhed up in one pate sort of thing <laughs> okay here is our chopped mixture probably could be a little bit more chopped but the lettuce just doesn't want to work with me right now and i'm too hungry to chop it even more so i'm gonna scoop it into my baguette and eat it up because I'm fripping, fripping, flipping, starving. I think it was an American trend first and literally people were just throwing in whatever they had in the fridge like meats, tomatoes, cucumber, like I've just done a quite a basic Caesar one but it's just like, I don't know, I feel like it makes your sandwich look a little bit more appetizing. Oh yeah. Maybe a little bit more Caesar sauce just to finish it off, but gorge. Look at that. That looks like a good old sauny, doesn't it? Question guys, I'm currently writing the next Beyond program and I really want to introduce like a hybrid running weights 
plan. Very beginner, not for like anyone that's sort of training for a marathon or any, anything like that, but because I've been doing it since sort of January time, I've just been introducing a lot more running and trying to get a little bit better at it. Like I am no Niall Kirkland marathon runner. <laughs> But I feel like it would be a really nice thing to do because obviously running is becoming such a trendy thing now. A lot of people are opting for overweight, which, fair. Don't think it will ever beat weights for me personally. I love weightlifting. However, I do really love doing the odd bit. I love interval training and I love doing like 30, 20 to 30 minute runs and i would love to like get better at my speed just on them i'm not hugely interested in getting into like marathon training although one day maybe but at the moment especially with the pelvic floor situation i don't think i could run for like four hours like he does sometimes but yeah let me know is that something you, that you'd be interested in because i feel like it would be really really fun if you are interested in trying to get into a bit of running but you still want to do weights I feel like this might be perfect so let me know in the comments if that's something that you might be looking for i missed this little fluff ball more than life while we were away she is just i wish i wish she could cuddle you all she is honestly the best hugger ever aren't you blue you just need to warm to win next because she's still not quite sure i feel like she might be a bit jealous of winnie really, bless her but um Basil absolutely loves Wynn and Biscuit's warm into Winnie as well, which is quite cute. But Blue is not so sure, are you Blue? It takes a while to get in Blue's crew. Because <laughs> she's the head of it, aren't you? But I just am so excited for when they're friends. And I feel like it's just going to keep Blue young for years to have Winnie to play with. You just got to accept her first, haven't you, baby? She's lovely, though. <laughs> oh, I love her so much. I could just smush her up with her grinchy toes. Right, baby, let's show everybody your crawly aim that you started. No? You don't want to sit? <laughs> She's determined to be standing up. Shall we sit down and show them our crawling? Because you're very good at it already. Right, wait there. <gasps> the one thing that gets her moving. The TV remote. Of all of the toys, this is the best. <laughs> she honestly looks so pleased with herself while she's doing it. She's like, <laughs> Yeah, go on, baby! You're so clever! Little bit of an army crawl, but. <laughs> I was just doing the nappy bin there to show you how funny it is. <laughs> I was reading with Elmer. We've got words that we know. I mean, are you? Can you say tall? Yes, you can say tall. It doesn't say short though. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall, or what was it? Fat or thin? Or but we can't say those words. Above the average elephant's weight <laughs> or below the average elephant's weight? <laughs> no. Huh? Well, I can't say thin. You can All say right, slim. So slim, you... slim. Elephant's tall or elephant's a little bit fluffy. <laughs> or slim build. Slim build. <laughs> She's already over Slender. Right now. Slender. Slender. Elephant's old. Oh, or elephants who have just, you know, they might be just blo a bit bloated, <laughs> had a big meal. Or, <laughs> She's know, like, Dad, get on with it. It's January the 1st and they've just overeaten over Christmas. You know, they'll lose. How gorgeous does this look? I am so excited to get in this bath, but I'm also actually going to have a full shebang pamper routine, charge my bat, like I was talking about this morning, <laughs> Niall said, just go for it hun, have a glass of wine, I got myself a little glass here, I was debating between an Earl Grey tea and I went for the Sauvignon, do you know what, I don't actually drink casually that much at the moment, I accidentally did dry Jan, I drank quite a few cocktails on holiday obviously, <laughs> but 
I, yeah, I, don't, I just haven't really been drinking casually at home this year so far. But we had a bottle in the fridge and I was like, it's a Sauvignon from New Zealand. We'll have one. We'll have our Il Grey tea later. So, she's here. And actually, it was the chocolates that swayed me because the combination of wine and chocolate is just unreal. If you haven't tried it yet, I know I keep pushing Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand onto you, but it's just a game changer. So, yeah, we've got that. But pamper routine, because I need to wash my hair and I want to just do my skin. I want to put some masks on. So I've got this mask today for my hair. Love this one. This is the Live In Proof Restore. Really good for any damage. My hair's not too bad at the moment, actually, which I'm quite pleased about. I think the air wrap, which now got me for Christmas, has helped because it doesn't get really hot like um, tongs do. And before I was curling my hair a lot, and I actually had my extensions mainly all out. Um, I've got like a, I've got like three or four. I know that sounds weird, but I just have three or four like tiny ones just for the front of my hair to thicken it now. Um, because I just I'm a bit thinner, particularly there, and it kind of creates the illusion that you've got thicker hair and you've got slightly more thickness there. So I'm able to slick it now because I don't have all the extensions. So that also I think has helped because I am just not really using anything on it. But anyway, we are still doing a mask. And then, actually the other thing I've been doing, which my hairdresser told me to do, is I shampoo my hair, but I don't condition it. I just use the K18 treatment. So I'm going a bit OTT to be honest, doing both, but I basically would just put this on for like five minutes, then I'll wash it. And then what I love with this as well is you just leave it in after you get out of the bath. So I don't even need it in here at the moment because I'll put it on afterwards. But you, it's just really quick, love it. And then it just stays in and leaves your hair really soft. But it's supposed to be like unbelievable keratin. It's, it's kind of squished Olaplex. It was weird because Olaplex was the thing, wasn't it, for years. And now they say it's not. But I mean, I don't know if it's just a new hype, but apparently this is brilliant. It's just very spenny. <laughs> so I bought like the tiny one first to see if I liked it and it was like 30 pounds and it was literally that <laughs> but it, it does seem really good to be fair then <laughs> we have some body bits so a snazzy body wash from Sol de Janeiro just to make myself smell nice and wash myself but also if you don't know the brand they do the famous bum bum cream <laughs> Did anyone else used to see this and just feel like, what is that? But it's just such a good moisturiser. And I'm trying to be extra moisturised at the moment so I can try and keep my tan from holiday for as long as I can so that I don't peel or anything. We've got some cleanser because I also really like doing my skincare in the bath. I know that might sound a bit funny, but I just love just washing away my sins. <laughs> and this is a new Charlotte Tilbury one which they very kindly sent me to try recently. So I'm gonna give this one a go, because I haven't tried it yet. Then we've got my Skin and Me Daily Dose of Treatment and some moisturizer. And I think that is everything. Very extreme, I know. Don't do this very often, but today is a day. Recharging the bat, EastEnders on, Sauvignon Blanc. Wash away my sins <laughs> and just feel lovely. <laughs> So that is my plan. There is one other thing I want to talk to you about, which I'm really excited to talk to you about, but do I do it now? Because I kind of want to get in the bath. But then, do you know what? I actually hate a really hot bath, so maybe we have a few minutes. Let's go out of here, hang on. I don't want to be too loud because we're sleeping in a room. Okay, let's go in here, shall we? I will continue this vlog tomorrow because we haven't really done much together, have we? <laughs> Sorry, I, was, I just feel like, I'm rushing around trying to like get bit, bits done when we're sleeping and then when she's awake at the moment it's just chaotic so didn't whack the camera out much this afternoon but yeah I have something really exciting which I am really excited to start a series of this year it's something I've wanted to do for ages and I finally feel like I've got my 
shit together to do it and like I said I really wanted to do some things where I could actually physically be with you lot because it is the the time that really makes my heart sing to be honest one of my favorite times ever being online was lockdown I have really really fond memories of lockdown although obviously it was the weirdest time ever and I feel like our kids are probably going to study it in history aren't they but the the live workouts and the community that I built through that and although it, that wasn't technically physically in real life it was a time where it felt like really community based online on my little area of the internet it just felt so lovely and I really want to now bring that to life because when I was pregnant last year and then obviously after Wynne was born I have mentioned this I became a bit of a hermit and then I did an event recently and hosted a workout and did a panel for a company it wasn't like my own event but honestly I came away from it with like a whole new lease of life and energy and like it just was so nice to just meet people and teach I love teaching I used to teach before I was a youtuber I um I was a PT and I taught classes as well and I loved it and Although I would love to do that now, I'm just, it's difficult with timing and, you know, being able to also do that as well as all the other bits that I do with Beyond and Bluey and being a mum, blah, blah, blah. But I want to, sorry, I'm, what a ramble into this, but I'm basically going to start a series of events this year called Move With Megan. And essentially what they're going to be are... <clears throat> Just events where any of you guys who want to come can get tickets and um, they're just going to be lovely. They're not going to be poncy or OTT, they're just going to be warm and friendly and just like here but in real life if that makes sense. <laughs> so um, they're called Move With Megan because they are going to be about fitness but nothing like intimidating or anything everyone is welcome like there's so many different forms of movement and you have to find what is the type of movement that you enjoy so there's going to be different kind of events throughout the year the first one is going to be a big lifting event where essentially i have hired out a, a big gym where we can all lift and just like work out in pairs in threes we'll make sure everybody has partners and different people that they can train you don't need to know anyone either don't feel worried to come because i will be there win will probably be there now will be there carl will be there and so many lovely girls will be there that you will be able to meet that are actually get, probably going to be very like-minded to you i think the people who like watch my videos they all seem very similar um and just really nice <laughs> So yeah, basically it's going to be a big lifting event where you will get into like little groups. You can just do your gym session essentially. I will be doing a little gym session. I'll be dotting about seeing everyone and then we will have a panel talk where I will be chatting. I'm going to get some guests involved as well from the industry that I'm friendly with and um, we'll have some really cool goodie bags. Actually, we've got I've, I've got the designs for the goodie bags too because we've designed these really cute tote bags and we've got some lovely brands involved as well so that they'll be filled with, filled with lots of goodness. But yeah, it's going to be really good. And then I think, you know, different kind of events I'd like to do in coming up after that, which we're already planning are like a specific mum and baby one. I'm planning to do a big summer one where we do a big run, a picnic, and I want to do one that's more sort of class-based. It'll be a really big class that I actually teach and you all kind of follow along. But this first one, I really want it to be a big lifting gym event where you can kind of do your own thing in pairs, in threes, in little smaller groups. I'll be there to egg you on and spot you. <laughs> um, and help anyone out who needs any help and I'll be lifting with you so it'll be really really fun. It's going to be on the 6th of April, Saturday 12pm till 3pm in London. The other thing I did want to do on here was a little giveaway for two tickets so for you and a friend to win tickets all you have to do give the video a thumbs up, leave your Instagram in the comments and I will pick at random one of you but it is UK based. Hopefully we will be doing some 
elsewhere in the future as well if all goes well but I'm really excited I feel like I've wanted to do this for so long and we finally got it all together it's gonna be really good anyway I'm gonna get in my bath because I don't want it to get too cold and I will see you guys tomorrow for another day good morning everybody I am currently in our gym because I'm about to start filming a new series for my app beyond which involves win <laughs> And Niall has decided to dress her for the occasion. <laughs> You're such a boy. <laughs> Look at her. Ready for the workout, Mum? <laughs> oh, the hair band. The hair band. She looks so cute. She's like she's going to do martial arts. <laughs> she's laughing. Karate kid. Karate chop. Okay, guys, all jokes aside, we are actually about to film episode one of the mum and baby workout series i'm so excited but i need to really get going because she's gonna get bored fast and <laughs> she just looks so cute we'll take off the headband won't we baby because it's a bit silly basically i just wanted to create this series of classes for any mums that want to do some movement but they you know, have to keep their eye on their baby at the same time. That's what these will be for. The other thing I, I feel really passionate about since becoming a mum, particularly to a daughter, is the fact that I really want to m show her movement or do exercise around her so she's in that environment where she sees it happening. Not that she's gonna be lifting weights or anything and I would never push that upon her, but just, Seeing that movement can be fun and that she can see that I'm having fun with it and as she grows that she will hopefully, you know, maybe just jump about with me. <laughs> I feel like that will then transcend into her life where she sees exercise as a positive thing. Because when I was younger, I hated it. Hated PE, hated any form of exercise. And I think it is much more difficult the older you are to get into it. Whereas if you start off young, being around movement and seeing that it is a positive thing and it can be fun, then I think she's more likely to like exercising as she grows and whatever form of movement she likes, she will hopefully see that, you know, it's it's a fun thing. It's not like just for boys and it's something that I really am very passionate that I show her in life that exercise can be fun. Yay! Guys, I'm so sweaty. It was quite like a body weight. Oh, I think she's almost, almost had enough. <laughs> I can't believe we managed to get through that. I was so worried that she was just gonna not enjoy it, but seemed to, which is good. But I think she's on the verge of being a little bit bored of this room now. So we will need to change environments in a second before we have a meltdown. But yeah, it went really, really well. I'm so excited to bring this new Adventure into my app. It's nice to just bring some fun, easy workouts that you can do. You don't even have to have a baby. You could just do them from home if you want to do some workouts from home. But obviously they are catered to people with babies who are struggling to get movement in because they can't get out or they just are obviously always with their baby. So if only one could high five me because I would 100% <laughs> high five her now. We need to teach you that one, don't we, baby? Probably too small at the moment. <laughs> right, just before I make myself some lunch, because I am absolutely starving. And do you know what? I think I'm going to make the same lunch I had yesterday, because it was so nice. And I still have the other half of that baguette. And if I don't make the chicken Caesar baguette again, I will probably just eat the baguette dry. <laughs> so might as well make good use of it. Before I do that, have some new ASOS bits which I thought we could try on together. They had some really nice gold chunky mainly earrings on there although there was a necklace too. Yeah this one although I thought it'd be a bit bigger than this. But they had some really nice I love like a chunky gold earring at the moment. I always wear my heart ones which I got from Nima Row love like a big chunky sort of stud style and they have these really nice different shell ones which I'll show you but also they have this lovely 
necklace, which I thought layered up with my, I mean they are all tangled at the moment, but my MNW and then I've also got a Winnie one with that layered, hopefully lower. I did think that the shell was gonna be a little bit bigger than that. Feels very summer vibes, although it's not summer right now at all. But it is a bit sunny today. I don't know if you can see, but I actually have some natural light that isn't gray on the side of me right now. But yeah, I did find a few other bits because I absolutely love Topshop on ASOS. It is so good. So much better than Topshop ever was as a standalone shop. Don't know how that works, but it does. They had these really nice, like, cargo, really wide leg jeans, which I think would be super cool. Hopefully they won't be OTT wide, that's the only thing. Should we try them on now? Let's try them on now. Hang on. Slightly concerned that this top is a little bit see-through. It's so hard with white tops, isn't it? They're just 95% of the time the nip is on show and I'm not wearing bras again. <laughs> but what do we think? I kind of like the trousers. There's just a lot of crotch going on. Why does this always happen? Is it something to do with my body shape? That I always have loads of crotch? Because as well, they are relatively high-waisted and I actually slightly prefer a sort of mid-rise, but these are pretty high. But I really like the back detail. But I don't know if they're like, I don't know if I love them. Also this bag I saw, which I thought was really nice. Very, Work a day. <laughs> what film is that from? She says work a day. Actually, I really like this. Really nice colour with just like a plain with a, a trench coat, some jeans, and it. I think it. It actually. Does it zhuzh in? Yeah, I like it because it's nice and large. We shall keep her. Also picked up this coat, which could be gorgeous, could be not gorgeous. But it's this big bomber in this kind of like, I wouldn't say boucle material, but it's sort of a bit fluffy. <laughs> not sure if I look like a snowman. No, I'm not, I'm not 100% on this either. I went up a couple of sizes too because I wanted it to be super oversized, but I think it actually is pretty naturally oversized. Is this Topshop as well? I feel, oh no it's not. Right next we have this denim dress which I was definitely, <laughs> what are you doing? I was definitely feeling, do you know what, you're, also you're gonna, barely been in this video. <laughs> they're also going to think. Uh, he hasn't been in the vlog yet. They're going to think what? You look like Hugh Hefner <laughs> with, with the hair coming out. I don't want to look like Hugh Hefner, that's not a good thing. Uh, no, I was just. No, I just. But you're, they're going to think I'm objectifying you and think, saying that everything that you wear should be tied to your body, which is not what I think. No, I do agree that. Do you not agree. This might be nicer if it was a little bit tighter, but I'll tell you why it's so baggy. You, it's not giving. Do you actually like it? Like this, I like it. But what yeah. I was going to say is, no, I had to go up a size because they were out of my size, and I was mm. hopeful. Well, you're, you know, you do if clothes. If I went down. If you could just, uh, and then... Give it a bit of a cinch. Oh, where's the, where's those creases? It looks like a proper You were trying dress. to make like a, a roof there. That? Yeah, there you go. Oh, well, I think no, he's got was, one. It was better stuff. before, but... <laughs> oh, Do you know what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Thanks, so. huh? It doesn't look great from the back. No, it doesn't. Well, well, just get, get a bubble. Go and get dressed. Well, I think maybe if I did actually get my usual size it might be nicer because it is giving like sack vibes isn't it but i really like the back so it's quite long too it's definitely too big for me i actually see how ridiculously long this is on me look at look at this <laughs> right the last bit were the jewelry and actually i did order myself a bikini <laughs> not that i'm going anywhere anytime soon but basically i left a bikini drying when we were on holiday just before we came home and forgot to bring it and it was this really like it was a really nice fitting bikini it was my saucy bikini kind of <laughs> i bought it for our honeymoon it's it was like you may have, i'll put it on screen 
but it's just a really nice fit and really comfy and I got it from ASOS a few years ago and the brand had some other bikinis on there they sadly didn't have that bikini anymore because it was like two and a half was it two and a half years since we got married something like that no it'd be two years this summer wouldn't it but yeah this was also from the same brand and I actually do really like this one really like a quite bright retro -y pattern completely different but I'm hoping because the fit of the other one was really nice it'll have a similar effect I really loved the bottoms on them more than anything and I think these are similar where they're, they're very very cheeky but they sort of you can do what you want with them because they ruche up but they feel like really nice quality it's not like a sort of tacky bikini I think these might be really nice actually but I won't try them on now but you can imagine the brand's called candy pants <laughs> but they just have really nice fitting bikinis so yeah that's them and then just to quickly show you the earrings i was going on about we have these ones which i absolutely love and i'm surprised they weren't out of stock yet because i feel like everyone is wearing earrings like this at the moment just even with this if this fitted better they'd look so gorge they're these like seashell gold ones also picked these ones up and they were all like five to eight pounds each anyway that is my asos shop wasn't particularly successful but i really like the jewelry and i like the bag and i like the white top don't think it's too see-through so yeah i've just got myself all set up to make another viral recipe which i've seen <laughs> the algorithm has well and truly got me because i think i watched one and now i keep getting foodie videos on my instagram reels i mean i'm not complaining but yeah, essentially this one came up, which was like a strawberry bark, which I don't know about you, but one of the nicest tastes in the world, which I feel like is actually super underrated, is strawberries and chocolate, isn't it? Such a good taste. Probably seen like the standard chocolate bark that everyone often makes. I made it at Christmas actually, but this, has the strawberry twist i'm just gonna check my no she doesn't do it that way around does she no i'm gonna make a little flower out of the strawberries like so i think i'm gonna try and do four i hope i've got enough melted chocolate and peanut butter for that i should do i've got our flowers can you see them yes you can now what we're gonna do dribble over dribble <laughs> I could never work in food. We're going to, I can't think, what word you'd say? What word would you say? Cinch over? Wait till you see them at the end though, because when you see like the back with the strawberries, with the, the chocolate seeping through, they do look really, really cool. We're gonna dollop on a little bit of peanut. Now we're just gonna start with a dollop and then I'm gonna try and do a little bit of, I can't remember what it's called now, when you, when you make it look all pretty as a pattern. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely makes it look a bit better. And lastly, we're just gonna sprinkle on some chopped peanuts. Has a little bit of a crunch. Strawberry chocolate bark is done. So we're gonna pop this in the fridge. I might try and squeeze it in the freezer actually so it gets done a bit quicker. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was gonna look better than it does. <laughs> no, it's supposed to look good on the other side though, isn't it? No, but... Yeah, but I thought there'd be a bit more chocolate mm. seeping through. Oh well. Well, it still tastes good. It's about what Don't it tastes judge like, a book isn't it? By its cover. Oh, it's gonna be a bit cold and sick, though, isn't it? Oh, oh cold and food. He's not sold. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to taste it with a gather, but I've got a big lump of frozen strawberry in my mouth. Yeah, we've got to wait for them to cool down a bit. Nearly. <laughs> All you have to do is not freeze the strawberries and it'll be perfect. <laughs> strawberries. Well, you freeze the strawberries, isn't you? Strawberries? You sound like the old man from family. Yeah. The vlog when I'm out of the house. If all you're going to do is take the piss out of me. <laughs> no, that will be really nice. When the fruit. I mean, it's strawberries and chocolate, isn't it? Mm. Like, we all know that works. With the, with the bun as a... <laughs> it just doesn't stay on. It's not a bun, it's a cloth. Oh, look at that. 
I bet you get people in hacky that actually dress like that. Yeah, probably. A beanie over the, with the bun. Mm. You just got to get it over the butt. It's getting better now because my teeth have got used to. Turn into a tea cozy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to finish this vlog here. We're going to watch some maths because there's a new Australia season out. Banging gatekeeping freak. <laughs> You, no, you, oh, not gatekeeping. You're gaslighting. Yeah, gaslighting. <laughs> you gaslighting, freak. Anyway, I'm guys, dinner. I'm gonna finish it up here because I think this might be a bit of a long one. Darling. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Sugar plug. Sugar plug. Oh, that's a nice name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one was a little bit, but the other day when you said Daisy, I can see that name. Daisy? I didn't say Daisy. You did say Daisy when we were on holiday because Winnie had it on her hat. Do you know what? I'm going to save a bite of those little bark things because Win will love that. Yeah. Anyway, I wanted to show you dinner, which he's testing for something. One pan coconut. What should I call it? One pan coconut chicken. Creamy coconut. Creamy coconut chicken. Triple C. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're, you're all having a things, good week. <laughs> I will hopefully see you 